Our faith may be tested so that we may trust God's faithfulness. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Po Fong Chia. Lee is a diligent and reliable bank employee, yet he often finds himself sticking out like a sore thumb for living out his faith. This reveals itself in practical ways, such as when he leaves the break room during an inappropriate conversation. At a Bible study, he shared with his friends, I fear that I'm losing promotion opportunities for not fitting in. Believers during the prophet Malachi's time faced a similar challenge. They had returned from exile and the temple had been rebuilt, but there was skepticism about God's plan for their future. Some of the Israelites were saying, It is futile to serve God. What do we gain by carrying out his requirements? But now we call the arrogant blessed. Certainly evildoers prosper, and even when they put God to the test, they get away with it. How can we stand firm for God in a culture that tells us we will lose out if we don't blend in? The faithful in Malachi's time responded to that challenge by meeting with like-minded believers to encourage each other. Malachi shares this important detail with us in verse 16. The Lord listened and heard. God notices and cares for all who fear and honor Him. He doesn't call us to fit in, but to draw closer to Him each day as we encourage each other. Let's stay faithful. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Malachi chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. You have spoken arrogantly against me, says the Lord, yet you ask, what have we said against you? You have said, it is futile to serve God. What do we gain by carrying out his requirements and going about like mourners before the Lord Almighty? But now we call the arrogant blessed. Certainly evildoers prosper, and even when they put God to the test, they get away with it. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. On the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, they will be my treasured possession. I will spare them, just as a father has compassion and spares his son who serves him. And you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. That's today's scripture reading from Malachi chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. And now let's pray together. Lord, help us to keep on encouraging one another to stay faithful to you in this faithless world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.